Here is our own personal tiny house that we are getting ready to ship and bring it to our property in Sonoma County. So we're gonna show you kind of what it looks like as it sits. So it's a 30 foot long by 10 foot wide deck over. Uh, so that was the trailer that we started with, the Tiny House Basics trailer. We got our wall of glass right here. So the whole plan with this, we'll go into a little bit more detail in a future video, but whole plan was this was going to be a single level living area. Um, everything but the bedroom. Bedroom is coming in another phase. But so we did all of our walls in a half inch ply, sanded it down and treated it with a hot, I'm mean, sorry, not hot, but cold mud uh, to give it kind of that plaster smooth finish. So we spent a lot of time and effort and materials to get these walls perfectly smooth uh, using the ply. Um, we got our entry door right here, eight foot tall um, entry door. It matches our accordion doors in the rear. So this is a eight foot wide accordion door. This is a nine foot wide accordion door. And then we have eight foot wide accordion window right there. This will be the living area right here. We have, it's gonna be the kitchen right there, um, kitchen sink right here. We're gonna have a pot filler, vent hood. We have a Blue Star range coming. Well, we actually already have it. Had that before the tiny house is done. Here's kind of a rough mock out of what we're thinking about for the kitchen. Uh, we got our uh, circuit breakers right there. We're planning on putting a big TV, <laughs> big TV right there. We're excited about it and we'll figure out how we're gonna articulate it out to like kind of the couch and everything. We have our little conduit run right here so we could have electrical uh, cables down there from our entertainment system run up to the conduit to like the TV so we can have it hidden. Um, for all the switches, um, we went with the Lutron Casita smart switches. We have these in our tiny house now and we really love them so decided to keep with them. Uh, this is gonna be for the floor heaters. We have a floor heating circuit there, floor heating circuit there. And then the other floor heating circuit is right over there. Um, we have really, really awesome skylights. So these are all Velux automatic solar powered skylights so we can control them, uh, raise and lower with the heat. So they're all opening skylights. We have five total. So we have four big skylights, then we have a sky tunnel right here. And then going into the bathroom, we have that wide skylight right there. This one opens up like that. This is our bathroom. So let me kind of take a little bit of peek back. Bathtub right here uh, from Vintage Tub and Bath. And we're gonna have Kohler Everything is going to be Kohler when it comes to fixtures, uh, shower heads, faucets, everything we did Kohler. Uh, washer dryer right here. We got our Mitsubishi mini split right here, there. So we have a 12,000 BTU unit, 9,000 BTU unit. We always hated getting ready in the bathroom and it being really, really hot. So now we can have it really cool. Toilet, Kohler toilet as well. It's going to be a smart um, bidet. <laughs> Excuse me. Vanity right here, color fixtures, color mirror, color light fixture. We got our three opening awnings. Uh, we have our smart switches right here. Uh, we're not decided yet what we're gonna do um, for the floor. Uh, we're thinking tile, but it, we're gonna do all heated at flooring. Packages got a little rough, but we are using warm up for the whole entire house, warm up. Uh, heated floors, that is all our heated floor stuff. We will have the control panel for the bathroom right here, connection to the floor heating, control panel right there, and then right there for the floor heating. Uh, so here's a good view into the great room. Uh, yes, kitchen right there. <clears throat> Originally we had a wall right here and this was gonna be a closet. So what we think we're gonna do is either put some wardrobes right here or after we do the ceiling, which we're gonna do the ceiling in cedar, and the flooring, we might do kind of a false wall to kind of divide the space, then do the closet. That way, <clears throat> when we work into phase two of the bedroom unit, 
we could take out this wall and we won't have this weird matching, you know, the weird line for the flooring and weird line for the ceiling. And we just have to patch up the walls, whatever I have to do. So, so here it is ready to ship. Um, we are going to get a tarp and cover this stuff uh, so it doesn't move in transit. And then we are waiting on coast to coast transportation, which is our preferred shipper um, to line up a driver to take this. Uh, we have specific requests for the driver, basically, uh, ba I'm sorry, based on the road of leading up to our tiny house currently. Uh, we want a truck with, out of bed so we can kind of make a nice sharp pitch turn into our driveway. But we'll show you all that in a later video. So anyway, here is what we lovingly <laughs> call our second pancake. First pancake is the tiny house we've been living in for eight years. This is our second pancake. Second pancakes usually come out better than the first one. So we're very excited about this. Uh, we are gonna take over the helm. Uh, so we basically did a shell build, the same process that we do for other clients. There's a shell 38 by 12, blocking out the sun, 28 by 10, 30 foot by 10 right there. So we did basically a shell build alongside other customer builds. And then we're gonna take it over and finish the build out ourselves. So we are gonna take you on all the whole process of installing everything from ceiling floors, color fixtures, blue star, range, hood, all that jazz, the warm up flooring, and show you the guys that whole process. So that's a great way to save money is to be able to take over the build at a certain aspect and start doing a lot of the finish work yourself. That's exactly what we're doing. Um, so we're looking forward to tuning, showing you guys a little bit more. So thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, please like and subscribe this video. Uh, we are going to be rolling out a lot more content for you guys. Um, so let us know what you think. Have any questions? Plan on going tiny? Go to our website, tinyhousebasics.com. We build custom tiny house trailers for people to build tiny houses on. Whether you're a DIY or a builder, we're here to help you throughout the whole entire process. So. Thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you soon.